Are you interested in visiting some amazing destination in China but only have two weeks to do so? China is so big and you don't know how to plan a perfect visit due to the tongue limitations or the lack of the Chinese language skills. Hi, my name is Wendy. I'm a professional tour guide based in southern China and my team has been guiding visitors from all over the world since 2007. And we've got a perfect solution for you. There are so many attractions that you can visit during your China trip. If you want to do the must-see attractions, I'd recommend you to visit some of the most famous UNESCO World Heritage Sites in China. If you enjoy nature, you should visit Guilin to see the Li River and towering Custom Mountains. For Chengdu, the Leshan Giant Buddha was listed as a World Heritage Site in 1996, and it's something you shouldn't miss. For Xi'an, you must visit the incredible terracotta warriors. And last but not least, you can't miss the Great Wall of China, the Forbidden City, and the Summer Palace in Beijing. Obviously, most visitors to China go to the same place and attractions. So if you want to be a little adventurous, to not only see these highlights, but also do something different, our amazing China 14 days private tours might be something you are looking for. Your private tours start with the departure from the hustle and bustle of Hong Kong by train. After three and a half hours from the high-speed train, you will arrive into the picturesque city of Guilin. Guilin is world famous for the beautiful Li River and its mountain scenery. After 14 days of experiencing the cute pandas in Chengdu, the incredible culture at Qinghai Tibet Plateau, the rainbow mountains in Zhangye, the Terracotta's warriors in Xi'an, and of course, the Great Wall of China. This tour concludes with the delicious Peking duck feast in the capital city of Beijing. One of the most beautiful destinations in China is Guilin. I have to say, I'm very lucky to live in this city. There are so many spectacular places with just a short driving distance from the city. And you will be amazed by how stunning this place is. The Li River is the main attraction of Guilin. Picture yourself traveling downstream on the boat, winding between towering mountains along the river with rural life and farming on both banks. Aside from the Li River, the towns of Yangshuo offer some amazing attractions and mountain viewpoints. Biking or hiking along the Yulong River is also highly recommended and it's a great way to get to know the local life. In the evening, you can watch the world's largest outdoor musical, the Impression 36 Liu Show. With almost two kilometers of the Li River, composed the stage of mountain and river backdrops, and also have over 600 performers involved. It's pretty impressive. Further north to Guilin, you can embrace the local ethnic minority cultures while hiking among the rice terraces before getting on the airplane and travel just under two hours to Chengdu. Longji Rice Terraces is famous for the large number of terraced rice paddy fields on its mountains, which have created an amazing pattern on the hillside. I'd love to show you my lovely drunk minority people and the mysterious Yao lady with long hairs. The capital city of Sichuan province boasts a relaxed atmosphere where life is savored and nature admired. A visit to Chengdu is not complete without visiting China's cuddly national icon, the Panda Bears. 
Another highlight of your Chengdu visit is the Lushan Giant Buddha. It is the largest stone Buddha in the world with over 1,300 years old history. Apart from ticking all the must-to-do list, we can't let you leave Chengdu without trying the Sichuan cuisine. There's an old saying that China is the place for food, but Chengdu is a place for flavor. So, you've seen the mountain and river sceneries in Guilin, visit the panda bears in Chengdu, what's next? Instead of going the standard path up to Shanghai, with the feedback of our previous clients, we've developed a unique tour route traveling further northwest into the mysterious Qinghai and Tibet Plateau. With less than two hours flying from Chengdu, you'll be landing in Xining, which is the capital city of Qinghai province. After learning some Tibetan and Islamic culture there, you'll then hop on the high-speed train for Zhang Ye and see the colorful Rainbow Mountains. This trip goes all the way to Xi'an, where the terracotta soldiers are, and this gives you a quick taste of the ancient Silk Road of China. The Silk Road in China traces back over 2,200 years ago, and it is one of the world's most famous ancient trading routes. In Xining, you will discover the edge of China's largest lake, which is located in Qinghai Tibet Plateau, Qinghai Lake. A day trip to the lake can be done from the city. The highlight of this day includes spectacular snow-capped mountains, Tibetan Buddhist temples, grasslands, desert sceneries, and more, all in one long day. Of course, due to the enormous size of Qinghai Lake and the town limitation, you won't be able to spend much time at the lake. However, for the majority of visitors, one full day featuring a various range of highlights in Qinghai is more than enough. Another highlight along the Silk Road is the Danxia Formations in Zhang Ye. You might have heard of the Rainbow Mountains in Peru, but there's also Rainbow Mountains here in China, located in an isolated city in the far west. Due to the hassle of getting there and the language barrier, Zhang Ye it's actually not a popular destination for travelers who are planning a trip to China. However, once you are there, surrounded by hundreds of colorful rainbow mountains at Zhang Ye Danxia Lanfeng Geological Park, you will understand why National Geography magazine calls it one of the top seven natural wonders in Asia. Apart from the rainbow mountains, there are also lots of ancient temples to explore and great places to hike. Now that you have experienced the off the beaten track activities in the far western China, let's get back on track and experience our national treasures of China, the ancient terracotta soldiers and the Great Wall of China. Both Beijing and Xi'an are famous for their long history and are two of the most well-known destinations in China. Being one of China's ancient capital cities for thousands of years, Xi'an is also where the original Silk Road began. With one day in Xi'an, you can visit the terracotta warriors, which have the reputation for being one of the greatest archaeological sites in the world. You can also bike along the ancient city wall and taste some delicious local snack at Muslim Quarter. After you visit to Xi'an, you will spend three full days exploring the current capital city of China, Beijing letting yourself discover the history of the Great Wall, having a peek into the life of Chinese emperor at the Forbidden City, and taking a rickshaw, exploring the old Hutong area are some of the best thing to do. So what are you waiting for? You can experience all of this and even more by contacting us and getting on that plane to China. Thank you for watching this video and on behalf of our team, I hope you enjoyed it. If you are interested in seeing this amazing part of China with us, please visit our website at wendywaytours.com. You can also Google Wendy Way Tours to see what our previous client said about us. We are looking forward to hosting you and see you in China.